I'll tell you, it gets your heart pumping. You're getting, you know, it gets exciting. And, you know, it's been a long season of going to empty gyms. And I mean, we had 11 fans in the la- at the last game, and I think it made a difference. So I'm so excited to have an atmosphere. These guys serve it. Good evening, folks. Welcome back for the first time all season. Leon Rice and the Broncos will have actual fans in attendance at Extra Mile Arena for Wednesday and Friday's games with Utah State. In a plan reviewed by Central District Health, Boise State will welcome approximately 900 fans for Wednesday and Friday's games against Utah State. Now, fans will have to clear a temperature and health screening prior to entry. Masks will be required at all times, and seating will be pre-established. Tickets for each game will be between $30 and $40 and will be sold to Bronco Athletic Association members based on priority point ranking before going on sale to the general public should any tickets remain. About 200 tickets will be set aside for students, and Coach Rice believes it'll be a safe environment for everyone in attendance this week. First of all, I trust my administration. I mean, this was not in my hands, and um, they're, they're not going to do anything that puts anybody in jeopardy. I know we have a huge arena. We can spread people out. We can, you know, people are going to wear masks. And, and like I said, there's, there, there can be so much space between everybody. And let's all just be safe and enjoy a, a good night. Now, as for the actual game itself, Utah State is led by seven-foot center Namiyash Keda. He leads the Aggies in points, rebounding, steals, and blocks per game. His three blocks per game is third best in the entire country. Keda's presence certainly makes it feel like someone is, well, looking over your shoulder at all times. Leon, I say Nemish Keda. What first comes to mind? The first thing that comes to mind when you say that is the versatility he has to impact a game. I think if you would look at him, you'd think, well, it's just, you know, scoring on the block and it's just shot blocking. And he's doing so many other things for that team. And, you know, he's 7-1. I mean, that kid is, is big and mobile and, and makes so many so many plays uh, that you maybe wouldn't see out of a guy with his size. When you're going up against a guy like that with his blocking ability, What's the biggest key to success offensively in the paint? Yeah, that's a hard one. I mean, he patrols that thing really well and protects the rim. And he's a difference maker. We've played against him, you know, for a couple of years now, and we know what an impact he can have. That's a that's easier said than done situation. Tip off Wednesday set for seven o'clock broadcast on CBS Sportsnet. All right, that's going to do it for sports. In the meantime, be well, stay safe, wash your hands, spread some love and some joy. We're back with more news after the break.